Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is October 31st, 2023, and it's reported that Barcelona are plotting revenge against Atletico de Madrid in the form of a Joao Felix deal. Also, it's reported that Barcelona are tracking Santiago Jimenez from Feyenoord. And finally, Barcelona are planning to give Ansu Fati more minutes in order to allow him to continue developing. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It's completely free, it only takes a second and in doing this, you'll be helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag where they're currently having a sale on their entire website. And also, if you are looking to place any sports bets, not just on Barcelona matches, but, but on all sporting events from around the world, make sure you hit the bet us both links for Kitback and Badass are down below in the description. Now, I'll begin the news that the super agent, Georgie Mendes, was in the city of Barcelona today in order to meet with his clients because, of course, Georgie Mendes does represent many of Barcelona players such as Balde, Laminia Mal, Joao Cancelo, and Joao Felix. And it's also reported that Georgie Mendes met with Barcelona in order to continue plotting the plan to sign Joao Felix next summer. Now it's reported that Atletico de Madrid have been uh, asking for 80 million euros for Joao Felix. They've been leaking that to the media these past few weeks. And of course, I reported about that in a previous video. However, Barcelona have reached an agreement with Jorge Mendes and with Joao Felix himself that they will not pay more than 40 million euros for Joao Felix. Now it seems that Barcelona want to pay back for what Atletico de Madrid did with Antoine Griezmann because as you might recall Barcelona sent Antoine Griezmann to the Madrid based club on a two season loan with a clause uh, with a purchase clause worth 40 million euros that would get automatically activated if Antoine Griezmann played 50% of all the matches and because Atletico Madrid did not want to pay the, the 40 million euros, they ended up benching Antoine Griezmann, which in the end forced Barcelona to accept 20 million euros for the French player. Now it seems that Barcelona want to return the favor to Atletico Madrid with, the Joao, or with Joao Felix and it seems that the club have agreed with the player that he will reject any offers for a loan or permanent transfer to any other clubs and since uh, El Cholo Simeone does not want Joao Felix on his team, the, the fact that Joao Felix will be rejecting any offers could end up forcing the hand of Atletico Madrid to come to the table and reduce their asking price of 80 million euros. Now it's reported that Barcelona are also considering extending the loan of Joao Felix for another season with an option or an obligation to buy that will be less than the 80 million euros that Atletico Madrid uh, are asking for which in the end could be a good solution because it would give Barcelona more time to collect the money. And also that's another season for Atletico Madrid that they don't have to worry about paying the extremely high salary of Joao Felix. And they also don't have to worry about having a player whose coach does not want him on his team. Now, speaking of attackers, it's been reported in the media that Barcelona are tracking and interested in Santi Jimenez. Now, in case you don't know who it is, Santiago Jimenez is a Mexican center forward. He's 22 years old and he currently plays for Feyenoord and he's been doing incredibly well this season, so much so that he has attracted the attention of many major clubs all across Europe. Now, as a result of this, there's been a lot of reports saying that Barcelona are currently tracking a player and interested in signing him next summer as a substitute for Robert Lewandowski. And while I'm here to tell you that, it's, that yes, Barcelona are interested in a player they have been tracking him for a while however he is not a priority for the club and Barcelona will not be launching any operations to sign the Mexican center forward the upcoming summer now the reason that Santi Jimenez is not a priority for Barcelona because of course the club do have Robert Lewandowski we also have Vitor Roque who's coming in the winter transfer market and we do have someone like Margu in Barca Athletic. So Barcelona's priority is not to sign another center forward, but more importantly, given the tight financial situation of the club, they do have to think about what kind of players they want to sign. And since the center forward uh, position is covered, Barcelona's priority right now is to sign a pivot next summer because we only have one who's Uriol Romeo and Barcelona need a second pivot 
And of course, they also need a young pivot because Oriol Romeo um, is at the end of his career or towards the end of his career. So Barcelona need a long-term solution for that position. Now, speaking of young attackers, it's reported that Barcelona are considering giving Ansu Fati more playing time because they believe in the player and they believe that he can recover his previous form. Now, Ansu Fati's just turned 21 years old today and he's currently on loan with the Premier League club Brighton where he has yet to hit his stride or, hit, or reach his full potential. And it's reported that Ansu Fati does reach his full potential and Barcelona are planning to offload him permanently to the Premier League club. However, if Ansu Fati does not live up to his expectation and ends up coming back to Barcelona next summer, it's reported that Barcelona would like to send him out on another loan spell, whether it's to Brighton once again or to a different club, because Barcelona want Ansu Fati to continue getting as much playing time as possible because they believe that he can continue developing and he can recover his pre previous, uh, previous form before injury because after all, Ansu Fati is still pretty young and he's at that critical age in his career where players mature and start living up to their full potential. Now, as I reported in yesterday's live stream, Lionel Messi won his eighth record Ballon d'Or at the France football ceremony that was held in Paris. And during his acceptance speech, he did speak about Barcelona, calling it the best club in the world and the best team in history, of course, referring to Pep Guardiola's Barcelona. And after the ceremony ended, Lionel Messi had more good words about Barcelona to the reporters when he said, Barca is the best club in the world in football history. It's a special club, very different from the rest. Of course, I follow Barca. It's the club that I love and will love all my life. Now, Lionel Messi was also asked about a possible goodbye to the fans since he left without saying goodbye. And in regards to that, Messi said, I would like to say goodbye to the Barca fans in another way. I felt like the sensations weren't good when I left. I deserve to say goodbye to the people that I shared good and bad times with. Now, after Lionel Messi gave those statements and spoke about his possible goodbye to the fans, uh, Gerard Romero from Gigantes posted an article, posted a tweet stating that Gian Laporta had met with Lionel Messi after the ceremony and had thanked Lionel Messi for his words in regards to Barcelona and that the two agreed to me in order to start planning the farewell of Lionel Messi. And while well, Lionel Messi did not take too well to that, art, uh, to that tweet because he shared it on his Instagram page and he said, you lie once again. So Messi denying any rumors that he spoke to Gian Laporta about his possible goodbye in the future. Now Messi was also asked about what players he believes will win the Ballon d'Or in the future. And in regards to that, Messi said, it could be hotly contested in the coming years with players like Haaland, Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. There are lots of young players that will fight for the Ballon d'Or. I also think that Lamine Yamal, who is still very young, but who has already played very well with Barcelona and has become an important player. There will certainly be others who will fight for it, as well with other players yet to appear. It will be a new era. So Lionel Messi believing that Lamine Yamal has what it takes to become a future star and a future winner of Ballon d'Or. And while I've said it many times before that I believe the same thing, however, if Lionel Messi says it, and well, we all have to agree with him because after all, he does know a thing or two about playing football. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, bisca Barça.